Hey YouTube, this is all about Androids.com, and today I'll be giving you an overview of Eagle's Blood for the Galaxy Nexus. Um, this ROM is only for the GSM version, so please make sure before you flash it. So let's begin. First thing you notice straight out is the four-way lock screen. So you can go straight to the dialer, the messenger uh, camera, and of course to unlock the screen. That's the first feature you see straight up, and this is actually built from source code, so directly straight from the source code, and it does include the Sign Engine Mod 9 source code. So uh, a couple of nice features that come with CM9, it's the power control bar that comes um, in the status bar right here. So that's pretty nice, straight out of the box. It also has the ability to have up to 7 home screens, and you can choose how many you want, up to 7, so that's a nice feature. The search bar as well has disappeared. You could have one search bar or you could actually set up a persistent bar and stays constantly on the top. He has also been able to set every single widget that comes with and any widget that you download after to be resizable which is a really nice feature. Um, the camera app has been uh, improved slightly with some extended um, features. Uh, which is uh, also a nice improvement as you can see right here the same um, app drawer no difference in, uh, in the look and you cannot really set a background image at the moment but it does come with a file manager which is nice and with Google Wallet which uses the NFC technology which is within the back cover right here is a NFC chip um, he also has changed the top button right here and instead of going to the market you can actually manage your apps go straight to the launcher settings and this launcher is made by the developer so Donique and uh, I have to say he did a really good job for the uh, first launcher he has done so the first thing is the ability to rotate uh, I have to say that it is slightly on the slower side that is mainly because this feature is not being hardware um, uh, accelerated support so that's why it is still on the slow side but definitely I'm guessing in the future he will improve that um, so here's where you will change your home screen settings the search bar so let's just check that and then we can take a look again um, transitioning effects so within the app drawer itself you can change um, also some other cool features and personalization so here's more for the app drawer let's go back right here and there you go you can see the persistent Google search bar that's on the top and um, I have to say it is really fluid out of uh, once you install it you see it's not laggy at all that one loading screen does appear once in a while though uh, but again it takes a few seconds to actually just uh, load it up it is also fully customizable as it has um, BusyBox so you can run your own scripts it ha also has Deodexing where you can customize your own themes and personalize the tiniest features within the phone itself um, so let's just take a look at the settings about the phone it does come with Android 4.0.3 latest release and of course Eagle's Blood right here um, I have to say as a whole very smooth very fluid and um, this hardware um, accelerated orientation again doesn't work the best but will be supported in the future it also has some minor tweaks and bugs that were um, replaced because the auto brightness on the phone had um, it wasn't working it wasn't too functional but now that bug has been fixed so it actually works better and as for um, data speeds it does recognize the difference between a 3G and an HSPA so definitely um, good improvement within the ROM this was all about androids.com please comment like and subscribe to our channel and we'll get some more content for you we also have a Facebook page a Twitter and a Google Plus account so please add us over there we'd really appreciate it thanks a lot